What's up YouTube? How you guys doing? Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I'm about to take a Florida trip here pretty soon. Uh, I broke out the Lowrance Elite 4 HDI. Checked to make sure I had, you know, my waypoints and my tracks and trails and, you know, reefs and that sort of thing. Still saved in my Lowrance Elite 4 from last year and uh, good thing I checked it because it was not there. Uh, for whatever reason, I had pulled that information off to load information on the Georgia coast and North Carolina. So, glad I checked it. I'll leave tomorrow. Um, so, basically what I'm going to do here is just show you guys how I do GPS uploads onto my Lorentz Elite 4 HDI. I've got another video out there that's just like this. I'll show you how to upload GPS locations. But we're going to add another step here. Uh, because I got a lot of questions um, from previous Lowrance videos in regards to this and it's in regards to file format. So KMZ files are all over the place online. Normally when you go to Google or you know Yahoo or Bing and you search for GPS locations you know the majority of the time they can be KMZ files and those files are what you would use to upload locations and information into Google Earth. They will not work with my Lowrance Elite 4 HDI. I don't know if they work with other models, um, other brands, other models, but they don't work with mine. So what I do, oh, and the reason we're here on the Hydroyak page um, is I have a page here that has GPS coordinates and locations. So. You know, if you don't want to search for stuff on Google um, and you live in the southeast like me, then this might be, you know, this might be exactly what you're looking for. So if you go to my homepage at hydroyak.com and go forward slash GPS forward slash, you'll see that I've got a page here dedicated to GPS numbers. Um, each one of these is a downloadable element, um, Georgia, DNR land, Georgia coast, reef locations, Cumberland Island, Florida reef, Florida Keys. So you see, there's tons and tons of stuff here. So all you got to do, it's free. I'm not asking for, you know, any cash or anything like that. If you click on it, it will download straight to your machine. Most of these files are going to be Excel files. This is what they're going to look like. This is the Alabama Reefs file. Um, most of these files are going to you're going to have a KMZ file, which is awesome for Google Earth. You can upload this information to Google Earth and research to your heart's content. Um, and also Excel files, but no GPX file. What do you do? Um, so it's not a problem. It's actually a very, very easy fix. So there is a website called GPS Visualizer. Actually in the GPS Converter. So if you just go to gpsvisualizer.com, I'll, I'll put the URL up on the screen. Um, there's This is a tool, free tool. Um, there's all sorts of functionality here. You can do a lot of things with this site as far as file conversions. It's really great. But what we're going to talk about right now is convert to GPX. So it's right here, middle of the page, convert to GPX. Simple. So what we're going to do, the output format, output meaning that's what we want to get back. We want that to be selected on GPX. Um, we're going to choose our file. And here it is. I'm in the, that is Florida Reefs. So we're going to go out to... Downloads, Alabama Reefs. Okay. So this is the file that I've just downloaded off my site. It's got a KMZ file there, so we're going to convert that. So we're going to click on the KMZ file, go to open. Um, yeah, that's the correct file. Yes, yes, yes. And then we're going to go to convert. And then it says your data has been converted to GPX. Right click on this link right here. You can donate to them if you would like. 
um, and it will download this information to your designated download spot on your machine. Now, one thing I'd recommend is when it does come out of GPS Visualizer, it has a number, it's named this big long number and then GPX. So what you're going to want to do is go rename that file as soon as it downloads. Okay, so here we go. I've renamed it Alabama Reefs.gpx. It's a done deal. Uh, this is the file type that I need. Um, I no longer need this file unless I'm going to use Google Earth or you know use some of the Excel information. So I'm going to grab this Alabama Reefs GPX. I'm going to take it down here and drop it into my mini SD card. Check the mini. Here we go, Alabama Reefs GPX. And as you can see, it's going to be in there with the other files as well too. So Florida Reefs, GPS, Georgia Reefs, Lanier Fish Tractors, all that information is, is here um, in my mini SD card. It is. You take your mini SD card with your GPX files on it, and then you plug it into the bottom of the machine. We're going to boot it up, and I showed you guys in the other video, but just to save you the trouble from having to jump between videos, um, I'll just go ahead and do it real quick. So once you're in your launch, you can see the locations from a uh, previous file. God, this screen does not film well. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go to menu, waypoints, routes, and trails, enter, loading waypoints, hit menu again, and then we're going to go to load to card, or load from card, enter. Okay, and then we're going to select the file name. So all these files that we just saw on the computer, they're in here. Um, Alabama Reefs GPX. We're going to hit enter. We're going to hit load. And as you can see, it's beginning to load. So it'll take a few minutes for all this information to load up. Once it is lo loaded up, you're going to have, you know, all of the GPS data that's on that file in your Lorentz. So I hope this really helps you guys out. If you have any questions, let me know. Also, don't forget, I've got a, if you're living in the southeast, um, I, I hope to expand this page, the Hydroreact GPS page. But, uh, you know, if you live in the southeast, then this might be, you know, the page for you, as opposed to searching around the internet looking for, you know, odds and ends. Um, I've used all these. All this is good information. So, thanks for checking out the video. Have a great night.